Hello everyone, I am Left, and today I have an urgent announcement for you guys. This is an emergency, it's 2.10, and CP Baron now exists. Now, if you've watched either of my YouTube live streams this past week, you you already know this, because I've been playing CP Baron on there, and, well, it's been a massacre. Um, I won a 2v3 with it where my support was AFK, just carrying on CP Baron solo. So, um, this video is, this is just a short video to explain to you why CP Baron is a thing, what you build him with, the items you start with, and how you should draft it if you're going to play it in ranked and stuff like that. So, we're going to start off with what you build, and it's pretty simple. So, when you start, so here's the items you should start with. I start with boots and a weapon blade. And then I just go start farming as Baron. It's a little bit hard to farm as Baron in the early game. Um, your farm is probably going to be below average at the beginning. But once you get that boots and once you get the boots and the weapon blade, then you just start farming. When you go back and shop for the first time, start getting stuff towards a shatter glass. Go for heavy prism and eclipse prism. And then once you get the shatter glass, sell off the weapon blade and then start um, just using your mortar to farm. So once you start using your mortar to farm when you have crystal power, your farm or your farm permitted is going to go up exponentially and eventually it will equalize at 10 CS per minute because farming with your mortar is so incredibly easy as CP Baron once you actually get the CP. So um, next we're going to take a little bit of a diversion and talk about Blitz because lots of CP Baron players have been cropping up in Blitz playing with the Endless Mortars epic talent. It is incredibly annoying to play against. You get eight mortars and they recharge really fast and go faster towards the ground when you fire them. And if you build clockwork, you can almost fire them as fast as they reload. Um, and they only do 80% damage and that is not enough of a decrease in damage for the amount of more mortars that you can spam with this talent. So how you beat endless mortars is, um, well, by using boots to get it close to the Baron, or just drafting a ton of assassins. Um, you can also use the Catherine Rare talent because it's broken. Uh, there really aren't a lot of ways to beat a Endless Mortars Baron unless you are a hero that has dashes or an assassin. <sighs> oh, sorry, I had to yawn there. But yeah, um, just pray that you're an assassin or something else that's equally broken in Blitz, like Black Feather or. Um, rare talent Catherine. So um, now let's talk about how you want to draft CP Baron in ranked. F obviously you don't really want to first pick Baron. He's not that OP anymore as he was before in previous past patches. So how you want to draft Baron in ranked is you either want to do it um, you either want to do this last pick or when their jungler has already been picked and their jungler is not an assassin. Um, so one re one way that I picked this in my stream was um, the enemy team had locked in Lyra and Petal, so I picked Baron safely because um, we wagered that the Petal was going to be CP jungle, and it was, and they ended up not picking an assassin as their final hero, and the Baron worked. Another way that you can do it is last pick on B side, you can do that pretty safely. Um, if say you could pick it not last pick on b-side but the situations for that are not very many um the only really the only real way that you could do that on b-side what i mean here is not last picking cp baron on b-side but still picking it um that would be if they first pick something that you know is a jungler like cruel or um something like samuel or yeah, just, there aren't very many options there, so I recommend against picking Baron um, second on B-side. You want to do it third on B-side so they don't have any chance to counter with an assassin. So if you see something like Taka or Kashka or Idris or Reza go over to the other team, that's not the time to pick Baron, especially not CP Baron. Another thing that I forgot to talk about before, um, that they reduced the cooldown of Porcupine Mortar, and they also reduced the energy cost, and they also made it so that the delay, the delay reducing on jump jets scales with CP. So that's kind of why um, CP Baron is a thing now. We just went over the counters and how to play it in draft. And yeah, um, if you can draft it in the right spot against the right comp, like you have seen on my stream recently, um, yeah, it's pretty broken. So I hope you guys enjoyed this brief PSA and please go try CP Baron. 
the full build, shatter glass, clockwork, shatter glass, broken myth. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys all later. Um, actually, wait, no. I want to talk some more about CP Baron. So some things that it's actually like really good into would be Crystal Petaled in the jungle. That's been getting popular. I know Joseph has been playing it a lot in VG8. Um, basically, two porcupine mortars instantly destroys Petal's minions. Um, I have experience with this on my stream because I think both of the games on my stream I played CP Baron were against Petal. So, yeah, two porcupine mortars absolutely destroys Petal's minions, or munions, and, um, CP Baron basically outranges any other mage in the game, um, as long as they're not running backwards. At maximum range, he outranges Celeste, he outranges Scarf, he outranges, he, I think he has the same range as Kestrel, except porcupine mortar does not lock you in place, you can do it while you're firing jump jets, etc. Um, oh. One last thing I want to talk about, the reason why you build the clockwork into this build is because every single time you hit a porcupine mortar, your ion cannon gets its cooldown reduced. So I've had times like where I'm max build, I've gotten two ion cannons in the same fight just because of that cooldown reduction given by clockwork every time I hit a porcupine mortar. It does the same thing for your jump jets, which is also really useful, so yeah. That's going to be it for this video on CP Baron, you guys. I hope you guys... Um, figure out how to counter CP Baron. I hope you figure out how to use him well in ranked and draft him in the right spot. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll see you guys all later.